So a month ago, I decided I was going to cut my cable bill, really DirecTV. I was a DirecTV subscriber, and I decided I wasn't uh, happy with the price. I was paying about $98 per month. Uh, so I started researching how to uh, pick up over-the-air free television through an antenna. Now, the problem was I live about 52 miles from the tower that broadcasts the antenna, and I had two different antenna streams, VHF and UHF. As I got to researching, I noticed it was really difficult to find clear information about how exactly to... So I wasn't really sure what all I would need, and I researched and spent a lot of time online, and I ended up being able to get all the channels that I intended, the locals, uh, NBC, ABC, Fox, CBS, and PBS, and lots of other little channels like the CW. Um, but I made this video in hopes that you would be able to watch it. It would give you the information you needed so that you also could get free TV and cut your cable or satellite TV. Two websites that really helped me were TVFool, that's TVFOOL.com, and AntennaPoint.com. So if you would also, as you start this video, look in the description, I've included links to all the products that I purchased and that you'll see in the video. Uh, if you need any help, you can read that description uh, and let me know what you think. I've got, I want to show you the amps I've got. So this amp right here is the, is the Wingard preamp. Okay, now the way this works is, is this box is intended to be mounted on the mast outside where the antenna will be mounted. Okay, so you mount it right to the pole. This does not plug into any sort of electricity itself. Now, if you look, the antenna, okay, the wire from the antenna will run right here in the preamp. And then the wire coming in the house, it goes in this hole out to the house. And so the question is, well, how do you power this? Well, you power it with this piece, okay? Now, what you do with this piece is the wire coming out into the house okay goes into this end and then this end is going to come out into your splitter okay so I've got a four-way splitter here now this is powered through USB and you plug in to the outlet boom okay so that's how this is powered now the idea of a preamp is this is there's a signal from your antenna but every foot it travels in the coax cable the signal decreases and so what this does is, this takes the signal that's here, and say it's 50 feet away on a coax cable, and it pulls it electrically, okay? Now we're gonna run this into the RF input on our splitter, okay? Now, it was interesting to me, I didn't know that there was a such thing as a, a powered splitter, so I ordered this splitter on Antennas Direct, and the way you power it is you plug the coax cable in here, and then you plug the coax cable into the included uh, plug, okay? And then you, this goes into the wall, this goes into the wall, and this right here stays into the, to the splitter, okay? And now what this is going to do is once your signal comes into this splitter, it's going to amplify the signal, okay? So let me show you when you plug it in you get a light showing that power has reached the splitter, okay? So let's talk about, let's go through it again. I have my antenna and the power will come in right here. And then there'll be a cable coming out here into the preamp. The preamp will be plugged in, okay? So let's do that. So I plug in the cable to the preamp. And then the preamp gets plugged into the wall, like that. Okay, so you can see this has a little indicator light showing that it's on. Okay, so antenna to the preamp, preamp to the power. Okay, and this is indoors where this is outdoors. Okay, and then you go from the preamp into your splitter, which will go right here. Okay, and then these four outlets will go to the each TV. Okay. So that's kind of your idea of your, your preamp, okay, 
and your splitter right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you over and we're going to look at the two antennas I ordered and we're going to talk about mounting them and aiming them. Okay, that's one nice thing about TV Fuller Antenna Point. They'll tell you kind of what degree angle you need to aim them. Uh, I didn't know this until recently, but antennas are directional. So if the, my signal's coming from about 182 degrees south, so I'm going to have to aim those antennas as close to 182 degrees as I can. Okay, real quick, I want to show you my VHF antenna. This is the Clearstream 5. Okay, you can see that the coax cable will come out right here. This is a VHF antenna. So this is the Clearstream 5 antenna I got for VHF. Now the reason why I got a VHF and a UHF is, I think I may have said earlier, half my channels are in UHF and half are in VHF. Okay, so here's my second antenna. Uh, this is the DB8E. Uh, in my impression so far is, is this thing's a good bit flimsier than the Clearstream 5. I, I don't know that this would hold up outside. I mean it might, but a good strong tornado wind like we have in North Mississippi and, and I think this would go out. Now, here's what I've got is, is it came with this box, okay, and when you open this box up, you can see it says UHF-N and UHF-N. That's because you got one cord running from this side and one cord running from this side. And then I've got it running out of there, okay, out of there and around. And this, this combiner came with the clear string. And so out of the, out of the DB8D, I have the wire running to this combiner. And you can see right here from the DB8D, I have it going to the UHF-N. And then this wire I'm going to use to go to the, right here, I'm going to use it to go to the clear stream. And then this will come out to my splitter right here. Okay, I've got two antennas, so I ordered both these 30-inch mounts. Uh, they seem solid enough to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount them on the roof in the attic. And then I'm going to hang the antennas from the mount in the attic. So I'm going to screw this into the beam on the roof, inside the attic, and then I'm going to hang it. Uh, I got these from Amazon, uh, but they ship from AntennasDirect.com. So I'm not sure how much you can see, but there are my two mounts. Uh, I mounted them on the roof of the attic, clearly. I'm going to hang the UHF one down there and the VHF one down here. I tried to get them a little bit away from the the roof. I didn't want them right up on the roof. Everything I read said that you lose signal. I wanted them a little away. So hopefully mounted up here in the attic like this. Uh, and then I can run my cabling. You can see the cable wires right over there. Hopefully I can run the cable wire to the TVs. Alright, so I'm up here in the attic and I've got all my stuff mounted. I want to show you the DB8 right here. I don't know how much you can see in this dark attic. But there's the DB8E. And then back here in the back, I've got the clear stream 5. And then you can see right there, I've got my preamp. And then right here is the five way or four way splitter. Okay, so let's talk about how everything's hooked up. Okay, so the the wire from the clear stream is into that splitter right there, and the wire from the DB8 is also into the I mean uh, combiner, and so both are running into the combiner, and then you see. Out of the combiner, I go into the preamp, and then out of the preamp, I go into the power for the preamp, and then out of that, I go into the splitter, okay? And then out of the splitter, you can see these four cables right here go to my TV, and then this cable right here is like I showed you, that's the power for the splitter. And so... I've got both those plugged in in the attic. And so uh, let's go downstairs and let's run a channel scan and see what we've got. So you can see the DB8 
E and the clear stream five in the attic. So let's wander back out. I don't know how well you can see the DB80 there. But I've got it mounted in the attic. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I just ran a um, channel scan and all my channels came in. So you can see right there that's CBS. And you can see down here in the corner the uh, signal strength. Uh, it goes that I get four bars there, but it jumps to five an awful lot. Okay, here's 4.2, my Mississippi. Here's 4.3, the CW. Again, all the fours come from the same signal. And uh, there's your signal strength. 9-1 is NBC. And you can see it's a full signal. And that's a VHF signal. So that's coming from the Clearstream 5. Of course, the CW and all, all the CBS channels are coming from the db but it's a further away signal. The signal wasn't as strong. It's about five miles further away. Um, and then in our area, NBC, ABC is over the same wave. So you can see how that picture looks. And you can see I've got a full signal. 12.1 um, is PBS. Uh, and what's nice about this signal is that PBS is coming from uh, a, a tower that's in the complete opposite direction, but the antennas picked it up. Okay, and then you've got 27.1, which is Fox. Okay, Fox is the UHF channel in my area, and you can see I've got a full signal. Um, and then 27.2 is me TV, and 27.3 is this TV, and those are all off the 20, channel 27 band. Let's go back to 27.1 and just let you kind of see how good the picture is. Now you can see on here it's coming in at 720p and the picture looks great. Let's go back real quick to 12.2. It's the HD PBS and you can see it's coming in at 1080i. Um, and then I got two other, or I got a bunch of, well, about three or four other channels. Uh, I got about four other channels, but I deleted them. They were channels I didn't want. Okay, so now we're in our bedroom. I want to show you that on a second TV, I'm getting just as strong a signal. All right, so you can see that 4-1, here's CBS. Uh, looking great. Here's 4-2, my Mississippi. And 4-3 is the CW. 9-1, which is NBC. 9-2, which is ABC. 12-1, which is the standard definition PBS. 12-2, which is the HD PBS. 12-3, create. 27-1 is Fox. 27.2 me TV and 27.3 this TV and then the other channels I didn't want I deleted on this TV as well. Okay so I hope this video helps uh, if you look in the in the description uh, of the video I included uh, a paragraph or two of all the supplies I bought links to all those supplies uh, I hope you enjoy